In this video, we are going to build a machine learning recommendation engine completely in the browser using JavaScript. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the problem we're going to solve is I want you to suggest to me good color themes for my text editor for me. Um, and as you can see, I've got it going here and it's, it's choosing some pretty nice themes. If you've ever followed my videos before, you can see that these look a lot like the themes that I choose to use day in and day out. So it is definitely working and it works completely based on my ratings of randomly generated themes, which oftentimes are ugly themes like this one. Yuck, that's gross. Um, but as I vote, the neural network gets better and better and starts recommending better and better themes. I have about 30 or 40 votes under my belt right here. Um, and it's really good. So let's kind of walk you through what you have to do to make a recommendation engine. It's pretty similar to what we did in the last step. Uh, we're going to start by making a new network. Um, and I'll just kind of plunk out some code here and then we'll walk through the actual code that I've built. Uh, so we'll make a new network. And then we're going to train it with our data. And the data is uh, the color schemes that we have voted on and our voting response. So it'll look something like this. So we have an array of training data and each piece of training data will look like this. It'll be an input and an output. So the input is going to have 12 dimensions to it this time, 12 inputs. The input values uh, are sometimes called input neurons in machine learning, uh, or sometimes they're called input dimensions. Uh, so we're gonna have 12 neurons. We're gonna have the RGB of our background color and then the RGB of our three colors with our color scheme. You can see we basically have four colors, background, color one, color two, and color three. So we're basically going to just do an array to keep it simple instead of doing a named object values. So we're basically gonna have RGB of background, I'll just use all zeros for now, color one, color two, and color three. So that's what our input is going to look like. These are going to be an RGB value between zero and 50, and these are gonna be an RGB value between 50 and 255. So I'm kind of giving it an initial parameter of we're doing a dark background and light text. And then the output is going to be a score. It's going to be what you clicked on with your stars, which is going to be basically a score between zero and one. Uh, so you're gonna rate, does this color scheme get a zero or a one or somewhere in between for me? So we're gonna build up that training data. And then we have a trained network, which is also called a model. Uh, so once we once that network is trained, uh, we're going to generate 100,000 different possible color schemes, um, which may sound like a lot, but there's actually 10 septillion possible color schemes with the four colors we have. So 100,000 is actually not very big of a sampling. Uh, and again, it's gonna be completely random. We're gonna generate 100,000 of them, and then we're going to do net.run, and we're gonna do each scheme at a time. So we're gonna run, uh, we'll do a for loop, and then we'll run that scheme or theme. Um, and we're gonna get the results, we're gonna, we're gonna sort them all by results, and we're gonna give you the top 20 results. So that's basically how you're gonna make the recommendation engine. We're gonna train a model, we're gonna run a bunch of values through that model, and then we're gonna pick the highest scoring values and return them to you. You can see here we have the highest scoring values. Uh, and let's go ahead and get into the code. Um, I'm gonna show you how it works. We'll give you the code at the end of the video and you can have fun and play around with it. Um, so we've made this fake editor wrapper here. Um, and I basically c copied some text, some code, and then I wrapped the different portions in spans. They're gonna get color one, color two, or color three. Um, class color one, class color two, class color three. So this is just a fake editor here with text. Um, and so when we generate random colors, we're just going to find everything color one, give it color one, find everything with class color two and color three, so on. Um, here's our stars. Um, and then here's the themes ID that we're gonna pop all our themes into. A little bit of CSS, not too much, uh, just to kind of make this page a little more beautiful for you. And then we're on to our theme generator code. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we start by just kind of grabbing all of those selectors on the page. Uh, we initialize the training data in local storage. Yeah, so that way if I refresh this page, I still have all my training data, yay. Um, so we started off by being an empty array unless it already exists. And then we create this current colors object uh, and we generate random colors into it. So this object right here represents the colors of the scheme or the theme that you're voting on right now. We have a background color and we have one, two, three color options. And you can see that when we generate random colors, we get some ugly stuff. I mean, there's some bad color combinations out there if you're just doing it randomly. Uh, so we generate a random theme, which populates it here. 
Um, and then we predict theme combinations. Um, so basically all we do at this point is we listen to the stars. And as you click on a star, we're going to turn that into a score. So if you click on star number four, index four, which is number five, because they go zero, one, two, three, four. Um, if you click on four, that gets divided by four and turns into a one. So these are going to be a score value of zero to one. Uh, if you remember from the last video, everything needs to be a value of zero to one. And here's what our training data looks like. We're basically going to have an input array of uh, the RGB values. Uh, we've gone from having an input array of three values to an input array of 12 values. RGB for our background, RGB for color one, two, and three. Um, and in machine learning, these are oftentimes called neurons, input neurons, or input dimensions. So we have 12 input neurons, 12 input dimensions, and we only have one output dimension, and that is our score. So when you click on a star, we take the current dimensions from here for our input dimensions, and we take the star value that you just clicked on, and that's our output dimension. So there we have it. We have our 12 input dimensions. Whenever you click on a star, this save training data runs. We save our 12 input dimensions and our one output dimension onto local storage. And now we can go on to predict theme combinations. Um, so basically we create a new neural network here every time you click. So we're gonna make a new neural network. We're gonna train it with the data that we got off of local storage. And then we're gonna generate, in this case, we have 10,000 combinations here. Let's change that to 100,000. So we're gonna create 100,000 random themes, which is just a sampling of the possible themes out there. Again, there's about 10 septillion possible themes out there with what we're doing here. Uh, so we're gonna take those colors and create our own input dimensions again. We're gonna run them through the network and get that score out of the output dimensions. Uh, and then we're gonna push those results all onto a results array. We're gonna sort them by score, and then we're gonna take the top 20 and add a new theme. This is our add a new theme function here, which just basically templates it out, takes those colors and spits it out onto the page for you, along with the score and the RGB values that it's using. That's it. So it, it took me about an hour to do. Most of the time I was spending figuring out the HTML, the CSS, and some of these helper methods here, like generate a random RGB value. Um, and generate a random background RGB value. Also a helpful note here is the background is always going to be a number between zero and 50 because I want dark backgrounds. So that is one constraint that I put on the system. And then the foreground colors are all gonna be between 50 and 255 because I don't want black text on black background. So I did kind of give it a heads up, uh, a leg up on the game. We're doing dark background themes here, but as you vote, these recommendations just keep getting better and better for you. Um, and it's actually kind of surprising how if you just give it 10 negative votes, because uh, sometimes it takes 15 to 20 times for you to actually get a pretty random color combination. Um, but it was interesting to see that just by negatively voting, the network started predicting some decent themes for me after five or 10 clicks. So there you go. The, the code's in the description. Go ahead, tinker around with it, have fun with it. And that's how you make a basic prediction recommendation engine completely in the browser using JavaScript.